Hi, you guys. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you what I made today. If you remember, I had been working on organizing my, my lace and such, and I was using <clears throat> file folder. And then with the scraps, I made all of those mini tags, but there were scraps from those mini tags. And so I made these today. Yay. I'm, I'm like getting rid of the scraps. I've got you know, things like piles on my desk. I have more scraps. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with them at this point. But um, I took a lot of my stamps, several different stamps, and I, I sort of just randomly stamped on the, you know, center, the edge, the just around, you know, on the scraps. So for instance, here are some of the scraps that I have right now, but instead of making labels, I thought it would be fun to make a skinny tag. So that's why I didn't use this one. But you know, I would just take the stamp and kind of stamp on the side or sometimes in the middle. Sometimes I would do it this way and I would stamp this way and I would stamp this way. You know, just all different areas of the paper and all different stamps. So I have some that are flowers, birds, the little hand, I have mail. I got these today from Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. And so I went ahead and used those. Um, so just some different things. This is a flower stamp and I used, um, I turned it three different times and I got three different, you know, images from the stamp. Now for the labels, I just got these in the mail today and that was perfect. I was actually waiting for them to come in order to do this project. I got them on Amazon and I'm just making sure I've not got a shine on it or anything. They were $10, something like that. And it is Planner Essential, yeah, Essentials Stamps, Elizabeth Craft Designs. The number is CS133 and it's called Retro Labels. I think that I just, um, and then there's uh, information on them. I just went onto Amazon and typed in rubber stamps or acrylic stamp, um, label stamps. So you can do that. And there were other ones, but you know, I think there were some Tim Holtz ones that cost an arm and a leg. Oh, and like $20. And so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so I bought these and they worked fine. So anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick and now I'm going to put them away and move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching. Bye.